field work at Bladensburg Port Project was produced by Joe's Movement Emporium with Laura Schandelmeyer and Brooke Kidd, artistic directors. This project was assisted by the staff of Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission and elected officials from the port towns. This was just a mass of grass and dirt and there was a parking lot over here and the only thing in there was this visitor center in the Butler building over there. Through a 10-week process, artists met and presented current projects and conducted a peer review style feedback that allowed for enhancing of each creative intent. And that is the nature of the field work process. Side of her own image. We love sushi. <laughs> that I'm looking at it at the moment of destruction or dissolution. The artists that participate in the field work project included dancers, painters, sculptors, writers, costume maker, performance artists, and videographers. <laughs> the artists gathered to create a site-specific work about the space of Bladensburg Port. They then explored the historic Bladensburg Port site, really getting a feel for the space and creating a finale project that involved a presentation of dance, music, and visual arts. rich history of a port that had been in use since the late 1400s created a sense of presence and purpose that allowed the artists to reclaim this space for our community. became an exciting venue to perform, an exciting landscape in which to fill with our art. This space became an important part of the creative work. It was exciting to be there, to dance and move, to draw or paint, to video and document this place. The final event coincided with the grand opening of the renovated port. The artists presented an installations of paintings, video, and a sculpture of the river goddess reminded us of the beauty of the water, to look at the water and to keep it safe. These creative statements on the ecology of the river were a call for folks to care for our river and to keep it clean, continuing to appreciate the beauty. The opening celebration included the Port Towns Regatta, a festival, and the presentation of our art projects.
This project made a statement for the river and the people that use it. Art, dance, and music can gather community and make it sacred again. We hope that this space will continue to support a healthy arts community.